Hey everybody. A couple years back I did a video of inside of a Magic Jack Plus and called it HD Close Ups. And that was with my crappy DXG 567B camera. Which obviously doesn't have near as good video quality as the Kodak ZI6. So I figured I'd do sort of a retake and show you the inside of a, of a um, first gen Magic Jack Plus. Now this Magic Jack Plus was given to me back in 2012. It got hit by lightning or got hit by a power surge. I think it came in possibly through the phone line. Perhaps this guy was plugged into the house wiring and the house wiring was not disconnected from outside. And, and I'm guessing lightning came in through the telephone line and um, fried this guy because basically you could barely hear audio and you, you could with the telephone connection you could barely hear audio coming out of this thing and it did not hear tones from your phone or nothing like that basically I think you'd hear a slight dial tone but it wouldn't do nothing else and at the same time buddy Tim his modem got fried <laughs> so so yeah um Lightning came in, I believe, through power lines, maybe through um, telephone too. But anyways, that being aside, now that I've introduced you to this, let's go ahead and have a look inside here. Now, basically, the Magic Jack Plus, the way it's different from a standard Magic Jack, and here's our standard Magic Jack. Now, I'm not going to open this guy up because you know you can see in through the window, and you can see that. You have your RJ11 port here. You have some capacitors. You know, you have capacitors, diodes, maybe some resistors in there. And you have a microcontroller that I guess Magic Jack um, must have paid some rights to the manufacturer to actually print Magic Chip on the IC. Now, I think that's pretty neat. Now, Windows sees this guy as. USB internet phone by Tiger Jet. Now basically a Magic Jack has a, let's say a mini sound card and I'm you know the way this works is it acts as an audio adapter for your telephone to work with your computer and the Magic Jack software on your computer does the rest of the work. Now um, I believe this microcontroller also um, emits the dial tone that you hear when you pick up the phone and it's able to interpret um, you know, tones from your phone, you're dialing numbers. But basically, you have you have your um, your microcontroller, and you have some storage memory on this guy because this way it knows whose account to associate with. That way, you can take this wherever you want to, just plug into a USB port, run the software, and pick up the phone and call somebody. And of course, the biggest downfall with the Magic Jack was you couldn't run it without a computer, so they changed things a bit and de developed the Magic Jack Plus which is really a system on a chip and I mean there's not much to this thing so basically it's funny you can take this off and you have like a window inside the Magic Jack Plus you know there was a beta model of this, of this device that looked like the original you know it had the see-through window you know, I think they should have left it like that because I think the I think the original Magic Jack looks pretty cool. I mean, it's all shiny and pretty and all that stuff. But basically, what they did is they moved, you know, the setup here to here, but they changed some things. It's now 100%, you know, a system on chip. You have your you have your microprocessor there. It's a Tiger 880A. And there's a website there, it's called www.tjnet.com. It says P8, I think, P8WF9-010. And there's numbers below that that say 1110. Get you a zoom in of that. And basically you have some inductors capacitor, some diodes, have your interfacing to a USB port, some LEDs, 
isolation transformer for your Ethernet connection, which is right there. You have an isolation transformer for, well, really, yeah, isolation transformer optic coupler for your RJ11 port for your telephone. And, I mean, there's not much more than that. I mean, this microprocessor here, it knows how to work without the computer, and it can also more or less work in compatibility mode where it can actually run like a standard magic jack but this design here is what makes the magic jack plus work so much better than standard magic jack when it's not hooked to a computer it's because it's a simple system on a chip unlike a magic jack connects to a pc in that case your processor and your computer is having to do like a hundred something other things depending on how many processes you have just think about it. You have MagJack.exe, that's the software for your MagJack, and you have possibly up to 100 more processes on your processor doing other things. So your computer's processor is very busy. Whereas, on this guy, the only thing he's really had to worry about is making your phone work. <laughs> so, yeah, um. Let's try to do you a brief shot. I'm um, show you a brief look inside the Magic Jack Plus and sort of explain how it works. It's what makes this device so unique versus the standard Magic Jack. Now unfortunately I don't have a 2014 Magic Jack Plus to show you guys. You know I, I am curious what the inside of one of those looks like. Maybe someday um, one of my clients if they get one it gets fried I'll be able to use it as a sample. So anyways um, yeah quick look inside of Magic Jack Plus for the second time <laughs> second video and sort of an explanation of how the thing works so anyways I'm going to put this back over the top so anyways thanks for watching